Hey guys, it's Sayura here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've already been here, thanks for coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out some new makeup products. So if you are interested in seeing how I created this look, then please keep on watching. Before we start the video, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time your girl uploads a video. And follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, let's jump right into the video. All right, you guys, so my brows are already done. I am going to go ahead and prep the eyes i'm using the abh magic touch concealer i'm going to use this in the shade number 18 this is the same concealer that i use to outline the bottom part of my brows i love using this as eyeshadow base and i'm blending this out with my sponge from shop miss a So I don't have a new eyeshadow palette, but I have something new that I want to test out on my eyes, but I have to create a look first. So I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Empowered Eyeshadow Palette to create something super easy. So instead of starting with the Huda Beauty Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going to start with another one of my favorite neutral palettes. This is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to start with this shade right here called Aesthetic. I feel like this shade is a good in-between shade, and I'm going to use this as my transition shade. I'm not sure if you guys can see that shade, but I went in with a very, very light hand. I am going to be taking this shade from the Huda Beauty palette. This is the shade Confident. I feel like this one is a little bit darker than the one from the Artist Couture, and the Artist Couture is a little darker than this shade from the Huda Beauty. So I'm going to go in with the shade Confident from Huda, and I'm focusing this on the outer portions of the eyes. I'm lightly patting that in, and then I'll blend it out. I'm using the same brush to blend that darker shade in. I'm just cleaning off the brush just a little bit to get off any excess product and then I'm going to try and blend out the edges. Okay, you guys, so my audio in the previous clip sounds a little bit off because my mic wasn't clipped on. I am so sorry. You can still hear me clearly, but it just sounds different from what you're hearing right now. Once again, I apologize, but moving on to the eye look, I'm not going to add anything on my lids because I want to try this single eyeshadow that I picked up. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Single Shadow, and this is in the shade Space Cowboy. I've been seeing this all over the internet. It's supposed to give you like the wet look, pretty much elevating any simple eyeshadow look, which is why I kept it simple today. I am going to apply this with my finger just to see how it applies, and then if anything, I'll go in with a brush. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this is what it looks like swatched, very shimmery, but it feels very, very lightweight. It doesn't feel chunky at all. I am going to go ahead and apply this to my eyes. I'm going to start with the center right there. I'm lightly patting this on. So this is what it looks like. I was expecting it to pop a little bit more, but in person it looks nice and shimmery. Very, very light, doesn't feel chunky on the lid. I wouldn't say this is a need. It looks really good, but is it a need? I don't think it is. I am going to take a little bit more of the shade Confident from Huda Beauty, and I'm just going to pat this right here. I 
I feel like it looks really, really cute. Something that I would reach for probably during the holidays. If you want to elevate your everyday eye look, it's really, really nice, very simple to use. I don't think it's a need. I'm going to try other shades and see, but it looks cute. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and pop some lashes on and then we can jump into the base. Okay, you guys, so this is what the eyes are looking like. My lash glue is still drying, but for the most part, this is what it looks like. As I said, I'm not impressed with this at all. Let's see what it looks like once I'm done doing my makeup. I'll give you my final thoughts on everything that I tried. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I'm using the new KVD Hydrating Pore Refining Primer. This is a really nice hydrating primer, and it also does a good job at smoothing out your skin. I am going to go in with the tiniest bit. So for foundation, I'm going to be mixing two foundations. I don't need to mix them, but I really like mixing my foundations. I just want to see what they look like played together. So I'm going to use the KVD Good Apple Foundation. This is the newest foundation from KVD. I have a full review on my channel. I'll leave it up above. And I'm going to mix it with the House Labs Triclone Foundation. This foundation is amazing and it plays well with literally everything that I've mixed it with. So I want to see what the two looks like together. This is more on the matte side and this is more on the hydrating side so the two together should look like the perfect finish so i mixed one pump of both foundations both shades are a tad bit dark but that's how i like it and i'm going to blend this out with my bk 106 brush When I tell you this, House Labs foundation literally looks good with everything that I've tried it with. It looks good with everything that I've tried it with. I'm getting the hydration from the House Labs and I'm getting the coverage from the KVD. I feel like the two looks really good together. Let's see what it looks like once I'm done doing the face, but it looks nice, full coverage with a nice little glow. For concealer, I'm using a new one. I tried it off camera because I picked it up a while back, but I haven't tried it on camera with you guys. This is the Kosas Concealer. I picked this up in the shade number 7N. I am going to mix it with the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. I really like the one from Kosas. The thing is, it is more of like a everyday concealer for me, and the shade that I picked up is more of like a brightening shade. If you like the LYS concealer, you'd really like the one from Kosas. It's very, very creamy, blends very, very nice nicely very lightweight and I feel like it pairs well with others as well as I said I did try it off camera so I am going to use the Sephora first because this is bright but it's not as light as the one from Kosas and this is going to give me way more coverage And because both concealers are on the brighter side, I'm not going to take it around my mouth. What I am going to do is after I'm done blending my concealer, I'll take the sponge around my mouth just to even everything out. So I'm going in with the Kosas concealer next and I'm only using this shade under my eyes. And as you can see, it is lighter than the one from Sephora. And while my concealer is sitting, I'm going in with cream bronzer. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer in the shade Deep Number no. 4. And just so it's a little bit more dewy, I'm going to spray some of my Garnier spray on top of the bronzer. And then I'll take my brush and apply it to my face. And the brush that I'm using is the E4 brush from Morphe. So I kind of tap into it and then I'll press off the excess and then apply it to my face. This way it goes on a little bit more dewy. And it blends a lot easier when I spray the Garnier spray on top of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Do. It looks good. If you have this bronzer, try that trick.
Once again, if you have this bronzer, try that trick. I feel like it's harder to mess up when I spray the Gardner spray on top of it. It goes on a lot smoother and it looks a lot more dewy on the skin. Like I get a even application. It looks beautiful on my skin. I am going to go ahead and blend my concealer. I'm using this Sephora sponge. This is the strawberries and cream sponge. And as I said, I'm going to take the sponge and just blend right under my nose, right here, just so everything looks even without adding any extra product down there. Okay guys, so I have a new blush. I have the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Blush. I have the shade Prima Donna. This is pretty tricky. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be using this as a cream blush or if I'm supposed to be using it as a powder blush, but I am going to try it as a cream blush on like my wet face and then if it doesn't work out, I'll try it on top of powders. So fingers crossed. As I said, I have the shade Prima Donna, which is gorgeous, you guys. I feel like this shade is going to look so good on my skin. I am going to use my 109 brush from BK and hope for the best. Pigment. Pigment. Okay, so go with a light hand. I'm going to tap off some of this product and then apply it to the cheeks lightly, okay. Okay, so you don't need a lot of product and it's blending nicely on top of like my other products, it's not lifting anything. And I feel like this looks really, really nice. After I set my face, it's going to tone it down this looks really nice, you guys. Add to cart immediately. As I said, you don't need a lot. I'm just going to pat this in. I'm going to blend this side in a little bit more and then after I'm done setting my face, I'm going to go back in with a little bit of this product on top of powder just to see how it applies. But so far, you guys, pigment. If you pick this up, it's going to last you a lifetime. So to tone this side down, I'm going to go in with a tad bit of concealer. Because I went in with a lot on this side, I'm just using a little bit of the Kosas concealer. I'm just going to blend that under my eyes. And lightly go over top the blush. Okay, that looks a lot better. I'm going to be setting my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is the original Translucent. I'm trying to finish this up and I'm almost done, which is why I'm using it so much. And I used my Beauty Blender Puff to press in my Laura Mercier powder. I am going to take my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade number 60 with the 105 brush from BK to set the rest of my face. You guys, I'm finally done with this Sephora powder. Like I really have to work my brush in to pick up any product. And I'm hoping this is going to last me until the next Sephora sale in April. I honestly cannot believe that I finished this powder. 
I went ahead and I did my lower lash line. I used the Sephora brown liner in the shade Molasses and I used the shade Confident from the Huda Beauty palette and I went in with the Rare Beauty mascara in the shade Black. I am going to use some powder bronzer. I'm using this one from Sephora collection. This is in the shade 06 Ibiza just to warm up the face. I just remembered that I wasn't supposed to use my Laura Mercier powder today. I was supposed to use the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Medium. This is the Airbrush Flawless. I mentioned this in my January favorites and I wanted to show you guys what it looked like as a setting powder, but I completely forgot. So I'm just going to use it under my eyes instead of using my brightening finishing powder. And I'm taking this on my Amazon Puff. I press and press this under my eyes. To me, it does the same thing as the brightening powder. This one just has a neutral undertone and I feel like the brightening powder is a little bit brighter as well. But I love both of them, but this one as a setting powder. Just press this in. I'm going in with my Garnier Spray first. Then on top of my Garnier, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. You guys, I'm having a bad brow day. My brows don't look the way I want them to, but I'm just going to ignore it before I move on to the lips because I have a few lip products to try out. I'm going to go back in with the Denise Myricks Blush. I'm going to try this on a puff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the products up on the puff, press off the excess, and then go over top. I think I might have just did something. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I like it this way. It goes on nicely on top of powders as well. And I feel like going in with the puff instead of a brush, it applies a lot softer. It applies a lot nicer and a lot easier. So if you're going to try this on top of powders, I'd suggest using a puff. So one more thing before I do the lips, I'm going back in with the moon dust again. I tried applying it to the lids with a brush and it didn't work. I'm going to use a brush and see if I can use this as like an inner corner highlight. And I'm going to put this right here. I'm not really seeing a difference, but. I'm not really seeing a huge difference. Like you can see, but it's like barely there. Okay, you guys, so moving on to the lips. I have a new lip liner that I'm trying out. This is from LYS. If you didn't know, they recently launched lip liners and a few lipsticks. I picked up the lip liner. This is in the shade Devoted. This is supposed to be a nice, rich brown liner. You guys know I love a good nude lip and the key to a good nude lip is a good brown liner. So hopefully I like this one. So this is what the liner looks like. It is more on the drier side, but that might be a good thing. So it might wear longer, but I swatched it next to a couple of my other liners. So this is the one from LYS. This is the Remo liner. This one is the Makeup Forever Limitless Brown. And then over here is the Huda Beauty. I feel like it looks pretty similar. I feel like this is a really nice shade. So this is what it looks like up close. I feel like it is a really nice shade. i let you guys know in another video how it wears, but I think it's a good shade. Let's see what it looks like with the rest of my lip combo. For lipstick, I picked up a new lipstick from e.l.f. This is their new O-Face Satin Lipstick. I picked up the shade No Doubt. The packaging feels very luxe, feels like a high-end lipstick. It honestly feels like something that NARS would come up with. I hope this shade works. It's supposed to be a really nice nude shade. 
I like this. I like the shade. I feel like this looks really good. I wish it was a little bit more pinky to go with the vibe of the look, but I love both the lipstick and the lip liner. Okay, you guys, so I took the lip combo off because I don't like the way it looks together. Like I like the lipstick and I like the lip liner, but together I feel like it's blending in too much for a lipstick like that. I prefer to use a deeper brown liner, kind of like the Sephora liner. Um, I went ahead and I swatched the liner from Sephora so you can see what I'm talking about. This is more of like a black brown liner so the lipstick would pop more whereas this one is more of like a soft brown so the lipstick isn't like popping. It's more so blending in. So I'm going to go with a lighter lipstick so you can see this brown liner in action. I'm going to use the Artist Couture lipstick in the shade Angel Baby. I'm going to apply some gloss. I'm going to use a little bit of the Morphe gloss in the shade Flower Crown. And then to top this all off, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Plumping Gloss in the shade Pink Cosmo. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I love the final look, you guys. I think my favorite product that I tried today is the blush from Denessa Myricks. It went on nicely as a cream blush. It blended very, very nicely. You don't need a lot of product. But I think that little trick that I did with the puff was what really did it for me. It gave just enough color to my cheeks. It blended nicely on top of my powders and it didn't lift anything. I feel like I need more shades in this. If you're looking for a really nice cream blush try this and I feel like it dried down nicely to a nice soft matte kind of powder the next thing is the moon dust I am NOT a fan of this it is cute on the eyes as I said the final look looks really good but I don't think this is worth $24 I can easily find a shade like this in one of my Pat McGrath palettes but for a single shadow $24 it looks cute but it's nothing legendary if you've tried it let me know what you think if you've tried another shade let me know if I need to pick up another shade but it looks cute just not legendary. I loved everything else that I tried out. The LYS liner, I wish it was a little bit darker on the lips, but it looks really, really good. Like paired with the right lip products, as you can see, it looks really good. Loved everything else that I tried, but the star of the show for me is the Dennis Amarix blush. I will have everything that I used in this video linked down below for you guys. As for the e.l.f. lipstick, I will try it for you guys in another video with a deeper liner. But I loved this video. I I love how everything turned out even though I'm not the biggest fan of the moon dust from Urban Decay. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else that you guys would like me to try out, let me know in the comment section down below. Once again, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!